everyone, in this video I'm going to walk you through campaign and how you should set this feature to make it work. And here are the requirements for you to succeed at this stage. DNS entries and an access to your DNS settings. Beware, this is not specified when you create a campaign for the first time, but you will not be able to send a campaign until you create your own custom email domain and link it with Crisp. To help you with these custom settings, we've created an article that explains everything about it. Check it out in the descriptions or in the comment below. So today, I'm going to walk you through our campaign features. Campaigns offer two possibilities, automated campaigns and one-shot campaigns. Regarding automated campaigns, you will have the ability to address messages on two different channels, chat and emails. With the one-shot campaign, you will have the ability to address messages on one channel, which is the email one. The automated campaign is a perfect feature for marketing and product teams that are willing to increase engagement on key steps of the customer's life cycle. An automated campaign is even based, which means that it will require a key action from your customers to trigger a campaign. There's an article in the description which explains how you can trigger an event on Crisp. Quick tip about it, there's at the moment three different ways, chatbot, API, and JavaScript. On the other hand, one-shot campaigns have to be sent manually and are perfect for product announcements or newsletters. One thing that makes it really different from automated campaigns are the targeting options. From the one-shot campaign, you can have access to the filter process creation, which is available from the contact tabs. So feel free to create your filters inside the contact tab and reuse it while creating your one-shot campaign. So let's create a simple newsletters for our paying customers. So the first step is to import your contact list if they are not inside Crisp. So click on action, import contact profile, look for your customers. And map the right fields. Make sure that when you import your CSV file, it's properly set up. There's everything explained inside an article on our help desk that will tell you everything you need to know on how to import data inside Crisp. So make sure to map the right fields, company name, look for company, uh, address is postal address, city, yes, so skip, 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 is personal website. As we are going to use segments as the targeting option, don't forget to add the segment to your CSV file so that when you import it, you can map it with the existing list of customers. So now that the import is done, let's create a one-shot campaign. So click on new campaign, one-shot campaign, give it a name. As a first step, you will have to define the audience you want to target with your campaign. In our example, we are going to use segments to address the right group of people. But as you can see, there are many different options. Once you're OK with your targeting options, it's time to choose your template. Note that you can use the template management feature available in the campaign tool so that you can address and create new templates and share it with your team. So it's quite easy to manage and can be categorized. So for this video, I'm going to choose this template. Once you're in the editor, you can start to craft your message. Here are some things you should know. Campaign's name can be different from the subject lines, and subject lines can contain dynamic data, so watch out. For markdown messages, unsubscribe link cannot be edited and will be added automatically to your email. There are two types of messages that can be sent, HTML and markdown. These can be modified straight from the editor. You can choose whether which your campaign should add tracking links or the brand name next to your name so that it can impact your open rates. And then you can add dynamic data to the content of your message so that you can personalize the experience at scale. Once you've created your first campaign, well, you're all set to get started. Don't hesitate to send tests to your own mailbox so you can see how the email look like. Now let's focus on how to create an automated campaign. Here, we are only going to focus on the first steps as all the others are the same as the one that we've just seen with the one-shot campaign. So let's create your first automated campaign. Click on campaign, automated campaign.
and here as you can see we need to set an event so let's assume we want to send a message when someone signs up inside our product sign up then as you can see here you can add a filtering option so that it will only keep going after a certain amount of time then here you can add a specific filtering option so that you can address the right group of people and as you can see we can find all the other data that were previously available inside the contact tab so let's assume we want to send a message to all the spanish speakers that have signed up inside our product so here we are going to use contact language equals to spanish done and then you can define whether which you want to send it once or multiple message at the same time here we only want to send one message save and next and here is the same process as the one you've been through over the one shot campaign if you get value out of this video feel free to subscribe to our youtube channel so you can get more content like this you're not ready to get started with Chris campaigns if you still have questions feel free to get in touch with us through chat or email and we'll be more than happy to help you